It's time to make three of the most overpowered towers and cause one of the worst genocides balloons have ever known. Of course, it all starts with one free dart monkey and one man with a really big backpack. Also, I need like five billion dollars to these banana farms. I'll be counting on you. I also need to buy a Quincy action figure. I'll just throw it down there. Time to forget about that for the next 140 rounds. <laughs> now you might be curious on which three paragons I'm about to create, but it's really quite simple. Just combine real civil engineer, an angry pirate, and one billion pilot. And you have yourself a recipe to murder everything. Speaking of murdering everything, banana farms if you'd please. Increase production, greater production, easy collect, salvage, and then just keep farming these things because I'll need as many marketplaces as I can possibly get. Also, let's just give you hot shot and grape shot, Mr. Buccaneer Man. That'll come in handy here in just like three rounds. You know what else comes in handy? Another banana farm. And I'm already lazy. There you go. Just keep the production on these guys high and we'll be A-OK. -okay. And squeeze another one right on Oh, wait, that thing's already here. You know what? Fine, that one camel balloon can hurt me. I meant to go into crow's nest, but I got so distracted by my temporary banana farm profits that I forgot entirely. Could have happened to anybody. Also, might be time to upgrade these guys just a little bit. Buccaneer can also break metal balloons. That's why I put you there. Engineer monkey to make sentry turrets. And my monkey ace just flies around shooting darts wherever he so pleases. It is a flawless system, if you ask me. Also, I'm getting to the point where I can usually make another banana farm per round. Oh, are these Camel's gonna be okay? Yeah, my Buccaneer's got this. He's doing fine. If I'm worried about one thing, it's just that at round 40, the Moab comes, and I don't know if I pop it with just three little guys. This is a high-risk, high-reward scenario I found myself in. And man, do I love me a good gamble. Also, I'm lazy once again. I think if I sneak a farmer right there, that captures all of them. So far, so good. You're just really strong, aren't you, Buccaneer? Coincidentally, how much I used to sell corn for. All right, give you sprockets and then pin. Now I've got a lot of farms here coming along nicely. I hear balloons being popped repeatedly. Camo or not, though, it doesn't seem to be working for them. Although, throwing in all these lead balloons actually- hang on, wait, no, they're on fire. See, yeah, my pirate king is just doing great. Thank you, Luffy. What I could do, however, is get tier three on all my engineers, just so I'm not being silly. I can also make you into a fighter plane and give you a cannon ship. I just got really big upgrades for these poor, poor balloons. Just do your best to stay alive and things will work out. Oh, it's the Moab. Hello, friend. That's fine. Cannon ship, anti-Moab missiles. Wow. All right. See, yeah, no, I'm doing completely fine. The first hurdle finished. Many more hurdles to go. But that's where the marketplaces come in. I think as long as I just let these guys run for a bit, I can get like, yeah, that was I think $3,000 per round. Let's keep squeezing these guys on in here, please. Let's make like a crowded elevator and get to know each other if you don't mind. I get three more banana farms down, I shred everything, and then I think I can just give these guys the good upgrade, turn even more money off them. Well, six more banana farms have been placed in three rounds. You can imagine how this is going to continue to go as we stack them up more and more. Also, look, these balloons don't even get past anything because I've got two sentry engineers right here. Oh yeah, cleansing foam on you. Let's get rid of camo stuff. Can I change where your target is for this? Cleansing foam right there, please. Thank you. All right, I've got eight of you and we're still before round 50. And by eight, I mean nine. I just need to slowly but surely turn these guys all into marketplaces because to get paragons, you need a lot of pops, a lot of upgrades, and a lot of everything. The good news is Geraldo will give me a totem to make paragons even better. But the bad news is once you make one Paragon, it gets really hard to make the other Paragons up a higher level. The rich get richer, the strong get stronger, it's a cycle we've seen in life forever. But luckily, there actually is somewhat of a system you can partake in. One that I will just throw right up here, because it's Merchant Man. And I'll just make my third Buccaneer up here too, why not? Merchant Man will not only give me more money, but it's gonna help boost that Paragon on up. Also, Dart Monkey, thank you, but your time is done. Also, Mr. Monkey Ace, you're in with never miss targeting. And then I'll make the Bomber, simply so I've got all three players in play. But now it's time to just spam you guys down, isn't it? Congrats, you're all slowly gonna become merchant men. I'd say so far, this is working out great. All the way up to round 56, I'm getting a good amount of cash in. I think I get why everyone loves the stock market so much, even though it's a big old scam. I just get $200 per round from all these guys. So now it's time to go ahead and make more marketplaces. I want the most amount of money possible with the least effort allowed. And I just accidentally sold a marketplace trying to get one back. Gosh dang it. But all right, all marketplaces have been made, but I suppose not 
all of them yet. While you guys fight that guy, I'm gonna make even more. And cause so far it looks like you're absolutely destroying him. Oh, hi, tiny Moabs that were inside of it. Goodbye, most of the Moabs that were inside of it. Yep, you guys got it, going good. Wow, all right. Don't worry, just uh, slide these guys into place here and then earn enough to immediately start upgrading them. This is good, I like this. This is how it should always be. I also realize there's this thrive power that just gives me even more money. It only lasts for one round, but it's not really affecting anything, just making me richer. So I'm gonna allow it. I also thought it would be fun to actually just sneak a banana plantation into here with one little farmer to sit by his side. Cause now comes the really fun part where I start buying favored trades. Oh yeah, it's also the part where I buy Operation Dart Storm and also where I make my tier four monkey city to get me more money pops off all of these guys. Don't worry, that's going where all of them are. This is good. This is good and effective. Favored trades, favored trades, favored trades. It's all dying. I'm actually slightly worried about balloons getting through, which means it's time for me to buy two more monkey aces and make more Operation Dart Storms. And then one never miss targeting. That should take care of the balloons actually standing up to me issue that I'm having. And this takes care of all my pirates down there. All right, you guys should be able to start farming pots now and make you a specter. So now he's just shooting constant bombs at things. And now it's time for my first tier five buccaneer. Again, not a bad price for coin. This just makes it where I get more cash per round, the more merchant men I have, although I'm not at the proper number I wanna be at. I can be at 20, dang it. I'm only at 14. Hang on, I can fix this. Tiny pool, just fill it with these guys, please. Come on, let me slide them in. Yes, this is years of BTD6 experience at work. Although why is it still only at 18? It can go up to 20, dang it. Merchant man, favorite trades. Merchant man, favorite trades. There, now that's maxed out. Just means it's time to start going into central markets. 12,000 gold every time I want to do it. Well, luckily I'm gaining gold at an extremely, extremely fast rate. Also, I get 70 instead of 23. Oh, hey, speaking of which, Thrive. That's good. That's, yeah, that's, that's a lot of income right there. And Thrive again. We got it. Keep her going. Balloons are not making it out of the spawn, but that's fine. It's fun to just watch like this. Oh, also, buy my bunny rabbits. I love these guys. I don't want to miss out on them. Also, I'm getting these central markets at kind of a scary rate, and that is, oh, there's a ZOMG. No, there isn't. Sorry, that went by way too fast. Just keep going. Just keep clicking. Upgrading markets. Murder, death, mayhem. All because of these guys. All right, that's done now. I'm getting 70 per click. I think that's like a $2,500 gold boost every time I do that. Well, how much money did I just make? right there. Wait, the answer is a lot. All right, Monkey Wall Street. There's one more upgrade I need to get, and it only costs 85 grand. It's not really that much, right? Ooh, another bunny rabbit, too. All right, oh, a lot of camo balloons. A lot of camo balloons. Wait one second here. I think if I set this guy like this, give him grow blocker, and then radar scanner, and then MIB, I can then get his radius up. Can you guys all see camo now? Three of you can. Can I sneak another one over here anywhere? No, game, wait, right there. There we go, that fixed my camo issue. Also, there's my tier five banana farm. This is everything I can do for money. I've done it all. So let's see, a ZOMG is about to appear, but I've got 68,000. Let's do this thing. I'm at 121,000. Are you telling me that I just gained 60K around and I haven't even hit the balloon yet? Although I'll be honest with you, I'm hitting it pretty hard now. Cool, then let's make this guy the sky shredder. Let's make this guy the flying fortress, and then we'll give this guy ground zero and then make him a tier five as well. My monkey aces can become a paragon at any time. And I'll go ahead and put auto star on because I don't think anything's gonna be able to beat me. Oh, hello rabbit man. There you are, Tom. It's good to see you. Also time to upgrade Geraldo with the power of being cool. So that just means I can start placing power totems down immediately. There's a reason why auto starts so handy after all. Hmm, I already have over $285,000. Things are going nicely. Round 91. Still not seeing anything that can actually get me quite yet. I also have over like a million dollars just hanging out, you know, as one does. I just realized, you know what I could do for my monkey aces? Is if I slap this little guy down, and quickly buy more Paragon Power Totems. I just went through rounds very quickly right there. I can give them Berserker Brew. And that's, oh, that's the big bog, big bad, big bad balloon. He's, he's dead. Yeah, he never really stood a chance anyways. That's why he wasn't my goal. We've passed round 100, not a Paragon in sight. Just give it about... I don't know, 10 more rounds. All right, just five more rounds to go. I will be waiting ever so patiently. Could you imagine if they made a banana farm paragon? 
That thing would probably be pretty fun. Also, I just realized I've got over 2.2 million gold coins and over 2,100 health thanks to all my marketplaces. Wow. Oh yeah, Thrive. Round 115 is here and it's not here anymore. One Paragon thing goes down. And now as much as it's probably a really good idea to upgrade into the Goliath Doom ship, if I want to make three pretty evenly balanced Paragons, then of course it's got to be my Engineer Monkey. Spend as much money on this little guy as I possibly can. And it's really just impossible to try and squeeze any more of these guys in here. But that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try it. Because with this, I should have enough money spent in each individual tree to get the max amount of leveling I can after this. Plus all those Paragon Power Totems I have hanging around. Around, should mean that even though there's like 4,000 pops between all of them, when I make this little paragon, he ends up being level 65. Auto start, you're back on, and I'll see you in about 35 rounds. Now, as you can see, my monkey ace has pretty much 10 million pops, and my other guys aren't really slouches either. Although this guy went from having zero pops to half a million in just like three rounds. That's the IMK special, things that shouldn't work magically end up working. Which is why if I sell my bottom roll of marketplaces and take a temporary tiny cash hit, I can sneak a lot more monkey aces down here and make all of them Operation Dart Storm. Well, I guess not all of them. Two of them can be my middle tree. Aren't I so kind and generous? I mean, clearly not to the balloons. They're being ripped to shreds and I'm making three million dollars off their death. Oh, sorry. I'm at over three million dollars now. I don't know if we noticed that or not, but I'd like to think that's pretty impressive. You want to watch my game almost crash? Look at all of these particle effects that I can then rejuvenate and then drop again. No pun intended. My monkey brain is happy. I think at round 140, it's finally time for us to make our second paragon. Goliath Doomship at level 85. I'll be honest with you, I probably could have gotten that guy to 100. And if I make him take a figure eight, he's gonna take a little bit of a back seat. Sell another banana farm as much as it hurts me. Because if there's one thing I am, it's a guy who likes to give no one any hope. Huh? Therefore, of course, I will be taking it from these balloons by putting all my tier fives right here. Oh well, at least two of them. You know what? Just sell all the marketplaces on this left side. It's time we have ourselves a pool party. Do one whole ship right into the tier four. Do a few on the top path. This is probably enough money spent because I realize I'm not in 3 million anymore. Oh yeah, there's those particle flex. Look at all the aircraft planes that I have. It just doesn't end, does it? Well, auto start on. Go get them, everybody. Murder, death, mayhem. Let them have it. They suck and they need to die. The only thing I can do for these balloons now is put them in an early grave. And by grave, I mean pop them and then let the rubber eventually dissipate into the earth after 3,000 years. Huh? Remember to recycle. Round 151, um... I don't know what's happening. I would like to know, but my screen doesn't let me. What I do know is this guy has 40 million pops and my engineer monkey only has 5.6, but that's just because I never placed this turret down. If I were to place the three turrets down, he goes from 5.5 uh, immediately up a million and it'll just keep climbing like that. And we're about to head into round 155. So I think it's time. Buccaneer Paragon, come on out friend. 81 as well. That means I've got a 65 and 85 and an 81 degree Paragon. I also have 3 million gold and I really just can't imagine a balloon getting any farther well than nowhere. Especially because I can put this guy back to being on an actual good path. And let me just link a tech bot to my buccaneer man, link a tech bot to my navy guy, and link a tech bot to my lovely little monkey village, which speeds up everything. Well, being as I don't have 15 years to actually go through all these high level rounds, I'm just gonna call it that I beat the game. I mean, after all, not only do they have to go through this line, they have to go through it about seven times. Oh, I forgot to sell my action figure. What's that? Oh, good, four million gold in the bank. Well, if you need me, I'll be catching up on chain saw man and i'll just leave this running in the background who knows how long it'll take until i'm dead ignore how pixelated it is but a long time later and i got over 1.7 billion pops also made 12 million dollars who'd have thought all three paragons could be so broken